You actually got here a little slower than I expected. With how powerful my spell was, I would have thought you would have gotten here a few minutes ago. But... I suppose I shouldn't be too critical. You recognize me, don't you? Good. That means we can... <laughs> that was an adorable little light show you just performed for me. Very impressive. Care to try again? <laughs> Look around you. Do you see the runes now? They're all over these walls. I'm sure you know what that means, don't you? Correct. You can't perform any spells within these walls. Not that they do you much good. Do you remember how well it went for you the last time we fought? That was over ten years ago. You were just a guard at Carmitage, and I was on quite the warpath. You resisted my influence, for all the good it did you. Your fellow guards fell like dominoes, and I was able to get in. And we all know what happened after that, don't we? Steven and I had our little fight, a chase across worlds. Then I died, and the world was at peace. You want me to cut to the chase. Apologies. I survived Mount Wondergore's collapse. You see... The Darkhold was powerful, but I am the Scarlet Witch, with or without it. Doctor Strange couldn't kill me. A mountain falling on my head couldn't kill me. To be honest, I'm not sure what can. I say this because I know you're thinking about how you can defeat me. You can't even escape me, let alone hurt me. Now then... Where was I? Ah, yes. After I destroyed the Darkhold and tore down Mount Wondegore, I kept searching. My goals haven't changed, you see. I still want my poise. My family. I'm just trying to find a path to them with the least amount of bloodshed this time. I'm not a monster despite what others might tell you. I haven't killed anyone in the last ten years since my attack on Carmitage. I've just been waiting for the right moment to return, and finally, the moment has come. Strange is gone, and the world is at peace. Most of the Avengers I fought beside have passed on. And you... You're finally the Sorcerer Supreme. You see, I did find a way to finally have my children. My Tommy and Billy. You are the key to finally having them. I saw into thousands of possible futures and only one had them in my life. Loving me, as they should. One possible future. And that was only after Stephen was replaced by a new Sorcerer Supreme. You. You will give me my children. Your powers are at your peak. You are in your prime. With our strength combined, my children will have the strength they so richly deserve. 
Not to mention, I will make a home for us within the walls of Carmitage, at least until they're ready to move. You are the key to finally having my children. <laughs> what do I mean? What do you think I mean? You will give me Tommy and Billy. You will give me my family and... I respect that you keep trying to attack me, but even if your spells did make contact, you couldn't hurt me. Why you? <laughs> I don't really know. There were dozens of other possible Sorcerer Supremes, but it had to be you a relatively insignificant individual in the grand scale of the multiverse. I didn't pick you. I just see you as the perfect stepping stone to get to what I want. <laughs> this isn't about love. This is about getting what I want. What I deserve. My children. Trying to run now? Smart, but it won't do you any good. Any portal you create, I can alter so it just brings you back here. Or, I could have you end up partially in a wall, if you prefer. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want my family. And you are the key. What will I do after? Raise my children. Watch them grow. Watch them fall in love. I will watch them be who they want to be who they were meant to be. We'll do whatever we want and live happily ever after. What about you? Once you give me my children, I'll keep you around as a shield. If anything happens to them, well, I'll do much much worse to you. That should keep away the heroes of the world. Not that they could do much to stop me. You seem scared, sorcerer. Now that I've made my intentions clear, I'm willing to give you a little more room to breathe. I won't hurt you. As long as you don't make me hurt you. Here. I can even put us somewhere where you're more comfortable. <sighs> A portal back to Carmitage. And before you get any ideas, you remember what happened the first time I came here, don't you? Good. I've only gotten stronger since then, so just make sure no one does anything stupid, and I'll play nice. Capiche? Yes, yes, it's me. Tell them what I told you, dear. That's right. No one does anything foolish. And I won't hurt anyone. Is that a statue of yourself? 
How vain can you be? Your teacher speaks the truth. I do not come as a harmful invader this time. I come to you only to negotiate a deal. Your Sorcerer Supreme has something that I want, and if he gives it to me, as well as your sworn obedience, no one will die. Do you all understand? Good. Then allow me to make us all a nice, peaceful dinner. There we go. Everyone, please sit. That wasn't a suggestion. It was a command. Sit and eat. Ah, uh, you will sit right next to me, Sorcerer Supreme. Right by my side. Now, I'm sure many of you have questions. Even your teacher seems to have a few, so I'll make myself clear. The Sorcerer Supreme will give me my children. Once I'm pregnant with his seed, I'll be taking residence here at Karmataj for as long as it takes, until my boys are born. You will all be free to live your lives save for one little detail. I will tie my boy's lives to yours. If anyone in this world, mortal or gods, good or evil, threatens my boys, you will suffer. That means it will be in the best interests of everyone here at Karmataj to keep my boys safe. I can tell from the fear in your eyes that you understand. Good. Hmm? Are you and I married? <laughs> married? Do you? No. No, no, no. There was only one man that I would ever love like that, and he's gone now. You are, quite simply, a means to an end. We aren't going to be married. I don't intend on loving you. I just want to keep this as clean as possible this time around. I only need your seed. And now you're wondering why I won't just control you to do what I say. Consider it a small mercy, one I might just revoke if you anger me enough. How much do I know about you? Enough. I've been watching you for the last few years, and you're a good sorcerer, though far from perfect. Honestly, you seem to have gotten the title out of sheer luck. Right person, right time. Oh, did that hurt your feelings? Accept it. The sooner you do, the sooner you'll give up trying to escape. And that will be better for everyone. Oh? 
Was it really that easy? <laughs> I knew you'd see reason sooner or later. Though I am glad it was sooner. Oh? You want a kiss? <laughs> That's adorable. Very well. Considering all I am taking from you, I suppose I can offer you that small mercy. Stand up. One kiss. Pucker up. The crimson bands of Ciderac. This was your plan? Ask for a kiss and trap me. Clever, if it had worked. <laughs> but all you've done is proven how foolish and stupid you are. I tried playing nice. I was willing to be fair, but you've left me with no choice. I should break your mind in two as punishment, but I'll give you one last chance. Because I'm trying to be reasonable. Now, won't you tell me? What is a fitting punishment for you after that little act of defiance? Hm? No answer. Very well. I suppose I could just eviscerate a few of your students' as punishment. <laughs> There's the reaction I was looking for. Sorcerer Supremes do tend to have the same weakness, don't they? Now tell me, what should be your punishment? Bowing before me? No, that's not good enough. But it does give me an idea. Kneel. Good. Now I want you to place your hands on my legs. Spread them apart. Good. Just like that. Now. Get to work. 